Welcome. Well, Dame Letty, don't take too much now. <laughs> I suppose he's relieved to be out of the way. Yeah, he's okay. I keep finding him reading the Bible, though. I don't know whether I ought to be worried about that now. Well, why don't you ring up the Archbishop of Canterbury's mother and ask if she worries about it? Very funny. Where have you been? She's here, okay. She was supposed to come back in first thing. I didn't want to be here any longer than I had to be. You don't have to be here at all. Shut up. Not today, eh? Right. It's um, time to get you two ladies into your gowns. Oh, I've seen you look worse after a Sunday morning training. <laughs> oh. 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 I think you've both been a ticket easy for a while. <laughs> look, I'm playing football again. And that's all that matters. And if you're lucky, I'll buy you all a yacht if they're going catch good. <laughs> <laughs> Not before I get my new kitchen and conservatory. <laughs> now, don't you see what I'm getting at? I mean, we're settled now, we're happy. Why couldn't it have happened now instead of then? Because Leif just doesn't want like that. And what if he feels an ache, like I do, like something's missing? Maybe the most important part of him? Look. You've got to stop this. Just accept what you have and accept what you can't have. Why can't I? Because it happened before I met you and you hate that. I bet she smells of the dairy, a musky bush, milky tits, and just a hint of warm cow shit behind the ears. So you approve of her then? <laughs> oh, and that poor Steve, wearing that ridiculous silver ring, and waiting till his wedding day. It really is another world over there in America, isn't it? Oh, look, they're fixing up the mic for her. None of these pop people can really sing. Well, like I said, we can get you to somewhere that's safe. But he's dangerous. And it's not just me he's after. Eric knows he was fitted up, and if he gets to... Gets to who? You said he was fitted up? By someone you know? No. Come on, Tina. Eric was innocent. If you know anything that can assist us in finding your husband, we need to hear it. Who fitted Eric up, Tina? A Mr. Meadows stitched him up. Stuff planted on him. Eric was never near that robbery, let alone do murder. Jack Meadows? Yeah, that's him. My husband was innocent. I know for a fact Meadows was offered an alibi that would have cleared Eric. He buried it and Eric went down. No! No, of course not. I, well, I, I'm glad that you could... <laughs> and it's very good sex as well. Fine! Uh, well, if you can remember what type of HRT you're taking, then I can prescribe it. Oh, I think I've embarrassed you, haven't I? No! <laughs> No, no, it's fine. And you do have real patience to think about. Well, I'll, uh, we'll just do lunch sometime, all right? I'll make the reservations. You tell me where. Half an hour? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Go inside and stay there till we've located him. Please, the matter's in good hands. size. 